Good morning, guys. Listen, you see that? It is 2.18 a.m. on a Wednesday morning. I have not been to bed since yesterday. I've been up all night into the next morning. I've got a lot of my mind, and I can't sleep. Um, so I'm excited I want to wash clothes. So let me show you what I just washed and just finished spinning, okay? Excuse the background because I'm about to eat and wash dishes and whatever else. So look at, I want you to see what I'm pulling out of my, my um, washer. Always, I don't know why I started having an issue pulling this thing out. So this is the spinner. Watch what I'm pulling out. I have a throw, a Mickey Mouse throw that I have in my car. I'm sorry, guys, you can't see. It's a Mickey Mouse throw I normally have in my car. So when I'm at work and I want to go in my car, I have a pillow and this. And I just, oh, just, I didn't know I could wash this. I don't know the size of it. I've had it forever, but I didn't think it was going to work. Like, I had a bag ready to, um, I had a bag ready to, you know, put it and take it to the dryer. But I'm sorry, but I just wanted to show you that, guys, and... Today, since today is already Wednesday, I am. I gotta get gas. I gotta go to Walmart for a return. I got a gift card from Target, so I'm gonna get some water and some other food stuff and make some other runs. So, yeah, uh, probably. Let me see. Today is Thursday, so no, today is Wednesday. Why am I keep wanting to push today? I'm sorry, you guys can't see me. But anyway, so yeah, I'll talk with you. Um, when it gets later in the morning, I'm about to you'll be able to dry these clothes now or wait till my other place open up at seven, but I want to be the target at eight. So we'll see. So I'll talk with you guys later on in the morning. Cause like I said, I've been up since yesterday. All right, guys, later. I just got up. I'm not doing all the It's after 12 noon. Oh, I slept, but I got to get up and go dry my coat and get some gas so um i come back home. good morning guys i'm gonna talk a little louder i just did a test video but i deleted it because i have y'all popped up on the vent and i have the air on high most of you know i'm in south carolina and it's hot like we're in the dead of summer hot now last night i was cold like shivering trying to get shiver, shivering trying to get the body heat you know because i have a weighted blanket that i found at the thrift store golden um, and then finally, you know, I went to sleep. Man, it is hot out here, like sweating. So I went ahead and just filled the gas tank up. And I learned something. And I don't know, maybe this was something I could do with all my other cars. <coughs> but I learned with this car. So what I do is I fill up my gas tank. Like when I say fill it up, I put it, depending on the pump, after it comes up or it clicks or whatever, let you know it's full. I pull it out and put it back in just a little bit so I can watch the gas go in the car and I gently squeeze it and I just watch a little slow stream. Well, it's not really slow, but it's not as fast and I just keep going. And it's crazy how much more gas I can get in my tank when I do that. And I fill it up to where I can see it like right at the hole <clears throat> and I wait and it'll bubble a little bit and then it settles. That's what I do. That's what I do. So, um, I spent like 48.12, which is fine. Um, so, got some gas. Now, I'm heading to dry my clothes because I washed clothes last night. Y'all, when I tell y'all I slept, I slept. Oh, goodness, I slept. And I, my alarm clock went up for me to get up and go. And I was like, I was just, I couldn't. I was tired. <clears throat> I had been up. And I couldn't do it. What is this person doing? Why do y'all do this foolishness? why people play with their life on the road i don't know why i don't know why people do why do y'all do stuff like this like no mind. Mm. anyway so yeah so i'm headed to dry clothes it shouldn't take long um it's wednesday at one something and i want to say probably a lot of people aren't gonna be here and then from there i have to run to walmart to do my return and i think i'm gonna get some peanut butter what was I supposed to get? No, I'm gonna do the return. I'm gonna leave. 
because I forgot I'm going after that I was supposed to go to Target um, <clears throat> this morning because you know I'd rather go when they first open because that's when you can grab up all the clearance items so I might wait then to get the peanut butter and the water and that's all I have planned for today one of my bins today is a dollar my 25 cent bin today is a dollar <clears throat> and all I wanted to get is um I'm going to do this DIY uh, handbag covers. Very easy, very inexpensive. The ones that I saw anyway. I'm not going to have no drawstring. I'll be able to see the bag. So, yeah. I'm here for that. I'm going to pass my place by. All right, guys. I'll be back with y'all shortly. Let me go ahead and <coughs> get turned around here and get my clothes in the dryer. All right, so, I'm back in the house for running errands. No, my. I'm back in the house from running errands, so I want to show you something right quick. I need to show you two things right quick. Um, yeah, let me go ahead. So, I was doing, I did a video about DIY laundry detergent, and I was saying that nothing cut grease, and everybody was like, try this, try this, try this. I haven't found nothing, but a lady told me to go to um, Kroger's, and they have the knockoff rendition of um, the Dawn dish soap. She was not lying. It's called Diamond Something. So I got a bottle. I haven't been back since. But Walgreens has their own dish detergent. And it says on the bottle, compared to Dawn. It's a dollar ninety nine. It compares to Dawn. Like, it handles its business. So I got two. So it's the Walgreens. And they don't get much in the store. They don't keep much in the store. So hopefully, if I remember, I'm going to go and get it if I ever see it on sale. This is what I was talking about when I said the um, Walgreens have their own laundry detergent thing. Um, well, they sell it. I don't know if it's theirs. It does really good. Doesn't fade out your clothes. It smells good and it washes pretty good. And I got it because I wanted to show you guys this, and it smells really good. Um, I make my own, but I think I was grabbing these because I need to make my own. So I want to show you, and um, yeah, just want to show it to you. So and it's only a dollar. Went to Walmart, did my exchange, and I, my grandmother raised me, and when she used to wash me, wash me when I was younger. I remember her, like, they don't wash. Like, I guess coming up, they didn't wash. They scrubbed your skin. So I don't like soft rags because I feel like soft rags are just glide and not really, like, lifting up and get rid of the dead skin and oils and stuff. But as I got older, I discovered this. I don't know how many years ago. It's less than 10 years ago. And this is, they call it the stretch washcloth. It's actually an exfoliating cloth. Well, it's not a cloth, but it's like this. It's long, and it has these on both ends. And I bought one on clearance years ago. I still got it in my shower. And I happened to, I was thinking about this yesterday, I happened to walk into the Walmart doing exchange looking for peanut butter, which I have. This was $1.48. Let me tell y'all something. Peanut butter, it, well, food has gotten expensive. But anyway, so um, I got this. It was $3.98. Really expensive. But it, they last a really, really long time. And they keep the, the it's not... I'm going to call it rough. It's like a really rough texture. But, I mean, anybody with common sense wouldn't go and dig the heck out of their skin. But you you, you can use it as a washcloth. And I use it on my bathroom and stuff. And it feels so good because it makes me feel like, and it's just me, like it's just really getting and cleaning off the dead skin and stuff. That's why I don't like loofahs and stuff because I'm, I'm, I need to, you know, clean. That's just me. So I got that. So let me show y'all. I got, I bought two items online. And I just got them this week. And the other one just came in. Um, and we're going to go and check it out. This probably was used. I got me some, um, excuse me, Dollar Foundation. Cover Girl Outlast Extreme Wear Makeup 3 in 1. Uh, full coverage for SBS 18 in it. And I got it for a dollar. Let me see. Okay, so it had been used. It's a little darker, but I try to do something because I, I got my under eyes are like sinking in. And these makeup gurus do so much stuff. But I'm going to see if I can. It's called cappuccino. I'm going to see if I can. I don't know how they say But anyway, let me show you these boots. I need to take this upstairs. Make sure I got everything. I'm going to make a sandwich. Then I'm going to show you these boots because the girl is all hungry. Oh, and I need to buy some shrimp. I only buy wild, wild caught seafood. Um, It's healthier and it doesn't have the crap in it. So I'm about to make me two sandwiches and then we're going to come back around. And I'm going to um, dry my clothes. I dry my clothes. I'll be back. Man, my mind be all over the place. I'll be not forget that I'm talking to y'all. 
Hopefully y'all can see me. I'm sitting on the floor in my living room. So let me go ahead and get it out the way. Mm. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich will never die with me. I'm sorry. So we're gonna do, you know, we're gonna do it in order. Alright, so I'm not liking how um Forever 21. I don't know. Now that I'm looking at these shoes in the light, I don't like them. All right, so these are the boots I got from Forever 21. Okay, so I'm going to slowly bring it up like this so you can kind of get an idea of the detail. Okay? I like these boots. But what I did not know, okay, so you can buy these at a thrift store and redo them. Um, these shoes, I, this is, I wear nine and a half. This is a size 10. I do not have wide feet. Nowhere near wide feet. These shoes are so narrow. Like you have to like, I had to jam my foot down in here. First of all, I had to jam my foot down in there and then push it. No, no. And then it was really tight. Okay. This part, it is wide calf. Well, I don't know. For my calves, it was, it was, it was all right. Um, but it kept slipping. It kept slipping. Um, I like how this is made. I can make this myself. I can just find some boots and make this myself. I really, really like how this looks. I might try to duplicate this, but I'm taking it back. Um, I'm definitely taking it back. When I got it, one of these wouldn't even clip on. I had to take a, a mallet and hit it to, to make it snap on. Um, the other one is still on the inside. So I do not want these at all. Um, I probably take them back tomorrow. But like I said, they're two pieces. You put this on. I guess you put this on first, and then you put shoes on, then you let it slide down. But um, it was enough for me, and that was Forever Twenty One. A definite no for me. Then I had this on the inside of it. I don't know when they was making it. They really, I don't know. Okay, so that's going back, and I got, I got those. I picked it up yesterday. I think it was yesterday. So I got these today from Target. Now, they were on sale for $30.99. I don't know if they're still on sale. Um, I like them. I'm a 9.5. I'm going to have to do a 10. I know it's not my feet. I just think the way they're making stuff, um, they're making it different. So I'm going to, um, they're not in the local stores here. Um, the closest store is in Aiken, South Carolina. I'm not taking that drive. So, um, to keep the price, I have to do an, um, a return at the store and then call the customer service number back so they can order it again, but I can keep the same price of $30.99. $30 if you ever have to do that, don't do the return until you call because they give you a ticket number. So, I didn't know that, but now I know. These come in one piece, so as you see them, that's how they are. They're very nice, they're very comfortable, and they have great reviews. These are the boots I got from um, Target. And because it's dark, it's washing out. That's why you see me do this. So, I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. Let me see if this helps. Let me bring in a white background. There we go. So, you see, you're looking at the zipper, and these are the boots. And this is the other side, holding up the white background so you can see it. They're really nice. And they're very really nice and soft and comfortable. But, um, I have to now do a 10. So, I just want to share these, and I'm glad I hesitated about going to Target. So I won't be going to Target today. I want to go first thing in the morning because, you know, that's when I check out the clearance stuff. So I just want to share it with you guys. Let me see. I do Target tomorrow and Forever 21. Tomorrow's Thursday, and then I go to my locations by 9. Hmm. All right. But, yeah. So that's about it, guys. Um, I have nothing else to show or tell um i might go out to my bins because like i said i do need the material so i can make some dust bags for my bag so i can put my bags up and then finish up that room and i may go ahead and do that <clears throat> in just a few but anyway um about to finish my sandwich and i'll be back with you guys a little bit i'm so used to the camera being over here and i keep looking over here but the camera's right there so anyway let me eat and i'll come 
I'll come right back. Y'all, this is not too far from me. I'm watching these people build a house from the ground up. When I tell you these people are building this house so fast, see, this is why, and I'm going to stick with this and I don't care what nobody say. I wanted to buy me a modular home because I don't see a difference between a modular home and a stupid stick built home. The guy that I bought this car from, I'm going to say something else told me that him and his daughter were home one day he said he literally watched them bring pieces of the house on a truck and he said it was like two Mexicans and a lady he watched them uh, what in the world is going on that's what they do he said he literally watched two Mexicans two male Mexicans and a lady Mexican put that house together and he brought they brought it on the truck so that's why these communities come up so fast i don't see a difference between a stick built home and a modular home now there was a lady on youtube and it kind of like put a bad taste in my mouth and i'm not sure who's doing it but um if you want to get a mobile home or modular home or whatever the case may be they got one where they're mixing the two and they're calling it something else i think they're low-key are just making the modular cheaper using the mobile home items or whatever however you want to say it and they're screwing people over like modular homes and mobile homes are being bought on an all-time high because you know buying a house is expensive um like you can get i've seen beautiful mobile homes but like 150 one you know it was it was like 151 i don't know 75 or whatever but see when i i want to get a modular home but i want to get a homeland package deal um so yeah that's what i would like to have if i do it if i don't do it which i find there's a lot of people like me <laughs> that do not want to buy they prefer to rent yes i get it i understand the people that want to buy i understand the people who want to continue renting my thing is you know I would like to rent a place where the rent doesn't go up because if you go in these, a lot of these apartments, the majority of places that you rent, they can jack your rent up at any time. They got the house for sale. All these people are moving out like crazy. This is such a nice, clean community. And you can tell it's been like that for a long time. But, um, yeah. Now, if I came into a lot of money, I would buy a fixer-upper. I would never build or buy a new house. I want a fixer-upper. Um, cause I want to have a room that's like my office and then I do like my DIYs and sewing and stuff. I want to have a window. I want to have it set up to where it's nice. I want one room that's an actual walk-in closet if I don't already have one. I see people do amazing things with bookshelves. What do you call it? Cadillac shelf? Cap Cadillac? Or whatever? From, um, Ikea. I saw a lady, um, I saw this a long time ago from one channel. This lady... Yeah, I saw her do it, and I think since then it kind of blew up. But I actually saw, you know how you got like the um, the spring-loaded uh, shower curtain rods? She had a gold one. She had white cabinets, and she had a gold one. I was like, wow. But, um, yeah, this man is like really close to me. Really close to me. But anyway, I see the house went up for sale. Beautiful homes. But, um... I forgot where I was going with this. But yeah, I definitely, you know, I like to rent from like, there's, I realize that where I'm at, some people wouldn't want to be in the area because they think it's cheap, but I drive through certain areas looking for things because, you know, you got people that put out things, they ain't nothing wrong with them, but they got so much money they can do it. But I also see cute little houses and apartments and towns and stuff in the cut where they be written and you would never know that it's there. You gotta be careful the area and the people because of what I look like. So, um, yeah. Where I'm at, and this is just the truth about my apartment. So I told y'all the guy is a Jew. He lives in Florida and he is stingy. All they need to do is just in my apartment or the other apartments, we need the doors are fine, but they need to do something to it to give it that little gap. Replace the windows. Um, it needs to be repainted. Like the kitchen, I can't stand when they get to the point to where they just paint over whatever's across the wall. This man painted the windows shut in the lady's office. She was like, he did that here too. I'm thinking to myself, isn't that a hazard? But until somebody say something, 
is not in, in South Carolina. I don't know about other states where these landlords get away with a lot of stuff, but I do understand that they don't have to provide certain things. I don't have a problem with an apartment or a house and I have to provide my own appliances. So, I don't care. The only thing I do not want to provide, well, you know what? I can provide my own heat, my, my own heat and air also. So, I mean, <clears throat> it doesn't make a difference to me. You know? But, um, yeah. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I have to remain where I'm at until I get what I need to get done. My ultimate goal is to, of course, get out of debt, definitely take my building classes, and I'm going to invest in another vehicle. And um, I don't know about a house. I don't know. You know, I can go back and forth with anybody about buying a house, but you can give me all the pros, and I'm going to give you all the cons. I know everything, a good bit of what I need to know and what, you know, what's what. I don't care how much people try to break it down about, you know, X, Y, and Z. I know it's a tax write-off. I never go against that. Um, and I know that, you know, depending on the value of the house, say you bought it for one fifty, and then the, the value go up, yeah, you made extra money, um, you know, because the value went up and when you bought it, you get an extra hundred thousand dollars so now a, a house you pay for 150 you're getting for 250 and that's fine you don't pay enough money and you deserve to get something back but i mean it's it's, it's the value so oh look at this traffic i picked the wrong time to want to go across town and do this but it's all right so i'm gonna go ahead and go i'm on the hunt today and tomorrow what am i doing tomorrow forever 21 target and going to my little spots and having my call but right now, I need to find the material for the desk bag. So I'm heading to my bin. Today is a dollar. Tomorrow is 25. And I need to go ahead and see if they got those black things. They're like, I'm using a different material for my desk bag covers. I'm not trying to do the drawstring thing. I'm just making like a little bag where I can just slide it in there. I can see it. And the material is lightweight and breathable. That's it. Nothing fancy. All I need is that and a hollow gun. So I'm about to go. Hopefully they got them. And of course, you know, I'll do a haul. I will definitely do a haul when I am done. This is an empty bag. You know what? I got a big Target bag I could have brought with me. Because sometimes they might have boxes where you can put your stuff in it. But um, I don't have plans to get a lot of stuff. So I'm going to use this empty bag. Lord have mercy. All right, so I'm gonna do this haul right quick because I need to go. So everything you're gonna see is a dollar. Um, Sometimes, like the whole time I was there, I was like, Christina, remember, it's a dollar, it's a dollar, it's a dollar. And then another dollar, I was like, well, just wait till tomorrow. No, because this store opens till late, so this stuff might be gone. So let me go ahead and go through. So I got this for a dollar, this is plastic. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do the flowers or if I'm going to do the candle on it, but I needed one of these, and I got one for a dollar. So, you see me squat down because I put stuff on the floor. All right, so the next thing I got was, is something that you can hang either like this or like this, and then it has a magnetic open right here and right here. You heard it? So I guess there was like a piece of glass that goes here because you can see the little black pegs. So um, either I can get a piece of glass from a picture frame or uh, I don't know, but I just noticed these. So I'm going to use it for something else. Yeah, I'm a good for buying stuff like this, but I'm going to use this. I'm going to hang it up and use it. So I got this for a dollar. Um, I did some DIY lights for my room and it was from Dollar Tree and I hated it. I already donated them out, so I don't have a picture. Um, if I could find a picture on one of my um, old uploads, I'll post it and you'll see it. I told you that for a reason. All right, so I got this for a dollar. Um, so I'm not sure which one I'm going to put this in, but you can see what it is. It's just a rod that you would hang on a wall. Um, that's it. I think that'll go in my other room. So, I have a Poshmark store, if you guys didn't know, I do, and I do sell pretty good every now and then. I have to re-do um, a lot of my stuff. Like, I want to make the pictures quality 
and background and stuff look a lot better. It's not bad. I always make sure my background is good, but um, I want to do better. So I found two hangers. I wish I would have found more, but I didn't see any more. I love to be found a second one that I'm going to use to hang my clothes up so it can really show. Yeah, look at these. Now, these are like a really light metal, but they're hangers. And I think he charged me a, no, he charged me a, he charged me a dollar for the set. Metal hangers. These are really, really nice hangers. So, when I do my Poshmark thing, um, there's some stuff I'm going to take off. There are some girls on um, YouTube that have like many streams of income of selling clothes. So, I got to figure out how to price and how to not get scammed and all that other stuff. But I definitely want to do that. Um, one will probably, I don't know if I'm going to go into two, but I want to do jewelry. So, we'll see. This is something that I have been hunting for and I found them and they fell apart and I couldn't believe I found these for a dollar. And I need them because my bras get on my nerve when I wash them. All right, so as you can see, all right. Have, well, these are nice quality too. So these are like when you want to put your bras inside here because let me tell you something, I only get two pieces. When I put my dog on bra inside the dog washing machine, they hook and, hung up, they hook and hang to everybody. So this is a bigger one, and then this is a smaller one. Absolute blessing, because I really, 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 really needed that. All right, what else I got? This is the material I was telling you about that I'm going to use to make, um, and they got, I think, four pieces I'm using to make my dust cloth, dust cloth tonight. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to put y'all on pause. I'm about to go upstairs and um, put some disinfectant in the tub. And some hot, I don't know, this is going to have too much lint coming off of it. I'm going to put this in the tub with some disinfectant hot water, let it soak, I'm going to wash it, and then I'm going to hang it out because it's really thin. I don't know how, I don't know if you guys can see how thin it is or not. Let me get one piece so you can see. It's not that, there you go. It's not that thick, so it won't take long. So I'm going to go and put this, um, go put this in some, some kind of disinfectant, something to smell good, and I'll be right Okay, so I'm back. Um, they're in the tub soaking. I don't know what they were used for. I think they were covers because they're like a square. But then it has like a little cutout. And then it had Velcro. Which gave me a good idea because I probably, <coughs> when I do my bags, I go to the Dollar Tree and buy Velcro. Really long strip. Really wide. I can cut it down the middle. Get a certain length and then I can add it to my dust bags. But I'm not trying to go that expensive. Alright, <coughs> so let me show you the other little knickknacks I got. <coughs> let me pull them all out. I had them stuffed. Okay. So, <coughs> I'm sure you could tell. Pure plastic. I couldn't leave it. So, I got this with a group of stuff. So, I can put it around my neck, but you see how tight it would be? So this would be something really easy I can add to this. Um, you know, I need to remember to style these stuff with you guys because I have so much thoughts that come into my mind, it is just mind blowing. And I can style this using something I already have or something from the Dollar Tree. So we'll talk about that. I don't know what this is, but I like it. I went ahead and got it. Now these, they had all these for a dollar, but I got the hookup. Just, you know, just got to hook up. And then this, I know, goes to a cell phone. Um, it still has a little plastic around here. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's like a, something for a cell phone, but somebody must have took the cell phone and left this. So I wasn't going to leave it. So I got that. Um, Y'all, every time I see handbag straps, I get them. I get them. I won't leave not one handbag strap. This right here actually goes to a cell phone. I don't know. I guess somebody opened it, so I don't I don't know. But it's adjustable. I like the clips on them. I don't know if you can see the clips. But you can adjust to go shorter or longer or whatever the case may be. All of my handbags straps are adjustable. So, yeah. So, I got this. And then, hold on. Because I told you about my lights. I found this. It has spots all over it. But I liked it. So, it's short sleeve. That's the part where your arm come out at. Short sleeve. It has a hood. And have you ever seen anything like this? 
So this is the top oh. where the hood is. So that's the hood. This is the top of it with the hood. And then this is the front of it. Isn't this neat? And it has pockets. You see the, it has pockets. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I see a beach chair. So I don't know what it is. This material is so nice. It feels so good. I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is a cover up or what it is, but maybe you have this one with some cute pair of tights and some jeans and some sneakers. Let me try to sit back so you guys can really see it. See? That's the... And this is the back. I've just never seen anything like this. And I don't know who is Doc and Bay. Quick dry poncho. You know what? When I'm in that place, people just be, I, they be ignoring stuff. They just be, I don't know what they be doing. But your girl don't be ignoring nothing. I gotta wash you. I'm gonna send you upstairs. I'm gonna wash you. I think all your guys gotta go upstairs. I gotta disinfect you out first. Okay, so lights. I got these for a dollar each. So let me show you one. Oh, I did four or five of them like that. Okay. I don't know what I can do. All right, great. I'm so glad I, I saw these. I just got to find me a little shade thing. Oh, okay. So, I forgot these come off. So, I'll find a shade or something. We'll see. Now, these are the lights. These are the lights. See, you see that black piece right there? If I pull it, then that makes it much tighter. So I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna actually, I can screw it into the wall. So I'll put it mounted above my bed and I'll have, you know, so I'm not sure if I'm getting the remote control light bulbs from Amazon, it's getting dark. I'm not sure if I'm getting the remote control light bulb from Amazon or if I'm gonna do just the, um, the remote control puck lights that I have um, and just put it right here and put it in a nice frame where you can't see it, I'll let you know. A dollar each. A dollar each. So, um, the only thing is, this little rubber piece right here, I'm going to have to find a way to keep that on and keep it from, because that's what's keeping these two together, find a way to keep it on to where it doesn't um, come off. But I think I can just take this and put it through this hole and tie a knot. But I don't want it to you know, affect me putting in the wall. Because if I remove everything except this right here, because I need that bracket to put it on the wall, this is going to come off. This I wish this screwed into here, but it does not. If you got a bin store, please go. Because this store makes you not want to buy nothing brand spanking new. I'm just being so serious about it. It's just, it's mine. It's just baffling to me. Like, it really truly is. So, I'm about to go ahead and put this stuff where it needs to be. I'm glad my second room isn't done done because I can just put this down with the other stuff that I got to take care of. Um, these stay downstairs because these will be home. Nope. No, this stays out because I got to find grass for it. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hold you. I was supposed to end the video. But I cut it down so I can do this haul so we can get done. This is the next day. Yes, I'm wearing the same top because when I go to them places, I don't want to put on clean heels. It's just me. It's, it's all right. It's whatever. My business. All right, so I went to Goodwill and I got a pillow for a dollar. It's a long pillow. And I got me a bra. And they were $2 each because, you know, they get the best bras. But Salvation Army get better bras. Salvation Army be getting on $56 bras. Um, but, yeah, so... Because I threw it a whole lot and I need to get some that's helping me like it's covering some fat and stuff until I can get rid of it. Alright, so. This haul. I'm going to tell you the prices. I'm going to try to move quick. I'm already almost a minute in. Let's get it done. Alright. Alright, so I got me, and this is for 25 cents. These are stickers. 
probably wondering what I'm going to do with these. These are stickers you can put on your nails. So when I start doing my nails, I got stickers. I'm going to just throw these on the floor and pick it up afterwards. Um, this right here, I have a lot of these. This is 25 cent. And what you do is say you want to wash your face. You can put this to hold your head back and it'll be like looking like that. So this holds your head back while you wash your face. 25 cents, I couldn't pass it up. It's too cute. All right. Um, this is like something to cover a table or a, 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 um, a chair. It's just a piece of material, but I got it because it's velvet. So I'm going to wash that and put that in my material stash. Um, oh, and that velvet piece was 25 um, cents. I put my 25 cents and dollar stuff in the bag, so they're all mixed up. So you can hear me do with the prices back and forth. I know these are to either hang a basket or hang your bananas or whatever. Man, please, I'm hanging my wigs on these. Um, <laughs> I couldn't believe that nobody got this. So when I need to hang whatever, I got them. They were a dollar each. Um, this was um, a zipper. It's a long zipper. It's in a bag. But you see the, um, the, the piece that you pull with right there? That's the piece that you pull with. And this is a really long zipper. Um, I got this for a dollar. So when I do start adding zippers on stuff, I got one. This wasn't a bad idea. This is a vinyl pipe thing. Now, I got it because I'm going to use this. But I don't know. Well, when I use it, you'll see. But I did not want to leave it. And this is a dollar. Um, trying to see. Okay, so it's just a piece of, you know, material that looks like this. And I did mention that was a dollar. I got things trying to leave out the bag. Good gracious. All right, so I got two of these, right? So this is what it looks like, okay? That's what it looks like. They're not used. They're brand spanking new, all right? I got two of them, and they were a dollar each. Now, let me show you what it is or what it looks like. want to see if it smells like chemicals so it's four pieces all right so this part goes right here there it is all right I don't know what that's supposed to hang on it drains from the bottom I just saw that and then this goes on to here this is gonna sound really crazy but I promise you it makes sense when I see fancy toilet brush holders I load up this is what it is. I've never seen a rubber one. Is that on right? Or oh, I know I had this on wrong. Okay, there it is. So this is how you, what do you call it or what do you say? It's a plastic anti-skid toilet brush holder set in the bathroom brush. Okay, it's the same thing. This is stainless steel. Ain't nothing wrong with this. I mean, this ain't nothing about stainless steel. I've never seen a toilet brush like this. So I have a fancy one upstairs. And another fancy one just like it upstairs and then I got two of these now I like this because it's smaller I like it because I can actually probably hang it on the side of the wall or whatever the case may be but I don't like this part so I'm gonna have to find something to sit this in or I don't know I'll figure something out to do it with I've never seen a toilet brush like this but it was a dollar can I take this handle off okay I ain't worried about it I'll try to take it apart once I um Oh, there it is. Put it up. But yeah, I try to stop calling stuff like this. Because you're supposed to change your toilet brush out every six months or every year or something like that. I'm not going to lie to you. I hadn't been doing it like that because it's just me. And a lot of times I don't need to be cleaning my toilet so fast. All right. Um, This right here, I always see these. But um, I never really could make out what they are. I'm not sure. I guess they're like some kind of like overnight bag you can just open up. I like it because of that vinyl thing, and then you know I can put food or something inside here, and not worry about it if it spills or something like a wash. So, and then it has like a little handle on the side. One dollar. Just put this on the floor because this is gonna work my nerves. I got this, and this is something that I always get a lot of, but for a dollar I couldn't beat it, and the quality was amazing. So, 
shower curtains for some reason have gotten very expensive. I can't figure out for the life of me why. But they got something that's like more resistance than something else. And I'm not going to spend a whole lot of money for it. So I got this one. Oh, it's damaged. Well, I saw the bag was damaged, but I didn't know the actual thing was damaged. So this one is damaged to the top. But I'm not worried about it for two reasons. One, it was a dollar. And two, oh, okay. What is that? And two, oh, that's weights. I can cut that out. Okay. And two, um, when I do paintings and stuff, this is what I use. I go to the Dollar Tree and find stuff for a dollar, and then I paint on it. So I'm not worried about it. But I'm trying to figure out what this is. Is that a, I guess that's supposed to be the weight. I've never seen that. On the shower curtain. Yeah, I guess it's supposed to be weights. Okay, so that's that. I couldn't let this. I could not not get this. This is a pretty. Um, this picture frame. All right, so this is a picture, right? And it has this big box with a whole bunch of styrofoam in it. See, hold on. Do you know I can hide money? And that's not why I got it for. I didn't even look at the back. But don't you know you can hide money? And you can hang it up on the wall like this or like this. But um, beautiful picture frame. But you can hide money in this bad boy. It's that thick. I had to get this. I am going to hang this up in my living room. And that was a dollar. And the shower curtain was a dollar. Okay. Trying to make sure I remember. I hate that I couldn't find the other one because normally I don't want to get these unless I got a set. But of course, this was a dollar. But I didn't want to leave it. I really did not want to leave it. I really like this. Did you know, heard about the story about the Statue of Liberty? What, who she really was and what she really looked like? But I like the New York scene, so that's why I went ahead and got this. Be surprised. Things ain't what they really are, what they started off to be. Moving on. I wish I would have found the other one, but it only showed one. And this is actually has blue in it. I like that. I'm going to actually use that one. I'm still coming on. Um, this was 50 cents. So this is what it looks like. You just take that. Was this 50 cents or a dollar? I think this is 50 cents. You put that in like that and you set it like this. And this holds your necklaces. You put your necklaces on it. I mean, it's cardboard, so I wouldn't put a lot of them. I'll put like two or some lightweight ones on there. And this is 50 cents. I don't pass stuff like this up. I got a wooden one I got from a thrift store. I'm going to pay like a dollar. It's big. All right. This right here is um, 200 five by seven um, bags. You can use them for gift bags. You can use them for um, treats. Oh, I thought they had the seal on them so they don't have a seal on them. Okay, that's all right. So, you know, say you're doing treats or whatever, you can put them in this. I thought it had a seal, like how this one has a seal when I put it down, but it doesn't. But it's okay. And the reason why I got this is because I got a lot of little stuff that I have in my arts and craft area. And I want to put them separately in the bag and just lay them nice and neat. So, excuse me, I'll still use them, but I'll just put it in there and just fold them down and just tape it. So that's that. That was a dollar. That was a dollar. Yeah. I saw a lady use her calculator in one day. And I was like, oh, I really want one of those. And this is what the calculator looks like. Isn't this cute? I, I, listen, I didn't need this calculator because I use my phone, but I'm going to use this calculator. As a matter of fact, I got other calculator. Oh, this is so nice. Oh, yes. I really like this. I'm going to keep the box because it has instructions. Look at it. I don't know if you really can catch the effect of it. And look at the numbers. The numbers are really... That is nice. So, yep. I got this little baby for a dollar. So, yeah. I'm keeping this one. But, yeah, but she had... I think her, her buttons were a little chunkier. But I thought this was so nice. I'm always adding something up. But I actually, now that I'm looking at this, prefer to have a calculator. I was trying to use it on my laptop, and somehow my phone kind of worked the girl nerves. Leave that right there. 
Right, it's gonna get better. Put this on my lap. Okay, so I got these. These are um, coasters, but I didn't want them for the actual coasters. I, I did not want them for the actual coasters. I wanted them for this, the holder. And I'm gonna tell you why in just a few. I'm gonna just set this, but this whole set was a dollar. And these coasters are heavy. I'm really thinking about designing something on those and selling them. It's not a bad idea. All I got to do is wipe them because it has like a chalky stuff on it. And put some type of design on each one of these and sell them. When I say these bad boys are heavy, these bad boys are weapons. So I'm going to put them back in the holder. And I'll show you shortly why I got it. And I would all if I hadn't already said it. I already got some of these. What is that? I didn't realize that. I don't know if somebody melted something on there. Or it came like that. Or a piece came on. I don't know. But I got a bunch of these. And there's the little double wall. I don't know if you can see the double wall little glasses. I think I got two or three of these. But I like them. So I went ahead and got this one. Y'all gonna know what this is right off as soon as I open up the bag. I was like, man, I can practice. And this was um twenty-five cent. Look familiar? If you go get your nails done, it look familiar. I got a whole bag of them, and of course, I got. The ring that they go on. I just dropped one. I was like, I can't practice doing my nails. And I'm just saying I need to do my nails. Because I got enough stuff for it. I told y'all in another video. That I keep seeing these. And nobody is grabbing these. These are handbag straps. People still ain't grabbing them. They still leave them. Every time I see them, I'm going to grab them. These are handbag straps. This gave me that um that boho vibe. But yeah. I guarantee if I put this on parch and hang it on one of them bags, it's gonna be sold. Yes. Alright, so I have two more items that I'm gonna get up off of here. Oh no, I gotta show you why I got the coasters. So this is called We Sponge, Ur urine and odor absorber. Um says it's pet safe. Holds over a hundred times its weight in liquid. <clears throat> it looks like this. I'm telling y'all right now. If push comes to shove and I gotta do car life, I'm slowly collecting things that I'm gonna need. So if I buy a portable toilet and I have to use the bathroom at night or whatever, and I can just put this in and it kills the odor, if there's an odor or whatever, this is what this is for. 25 cents. 25 cents. Um, I said this was a dollar. And then this, I want to say this was a dollar. I want to say this was a dollar. Okay. All right, so I'm going to put this stuff back in the bag. And I'm going to tell you, show you why I'm getting these coasters, this coaster holder. Oh, and one more thing. They had them in black and white. And I think they were low-key kind of putting them out as people was walking around. A dollar. I want you to take a picture. I mean, take a picture. I want you to take a look at the picture. It's a table. So wrapped up they had black and they had white and they were just randomly laying on the wall and i randomly walked over and grabbed them a dollar i wish i could have got another one but there wasn't any more left so tell y'all it's, it's it's crazy very quick let me not ramble let me do what i gotta do and i'll be right back i'll be right back i got a boogie in my eye one day either this week or last week i went to um target to do a return. No, it wasn't when I did the return. It was before I did the return. And they had coasters. And the coasters were for $5. These double coasters are so freaking heavy, but they're nice. So these are the coasters, only four of them. So it has the gold and the bottom to the bottom. Now check these out. 
These freaking coasters are nice. Oh, I could not leave them in the store. I love all the colors. Let's see if we can get some lighting in that one. That's why I bought this. So let's see. I don't want the inside of this to mess them up. And I may have to wash this. And it may not mess it up. Oh, wait, wait, wait. oh no, no, no. It only, hold on. Is this one too big? Hold on, aren't they the same exact size? Yeah. What am I missing? What am I missing? Oh, there it is. I don't know what happened. It wasn't going in. And here it is. That's why I bought it. So I like this case for that. So I'm going to, um, I have them still stuck in a little thing that they came in. I'm going to keep them in there and I'm going to wash this. And then these are going to go in my DIY stash. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with these. Um, I'm going to keep the white white. Probably put paint around it. I mean, tape around it. So whatever I do, it wouldn't spill over. But yeah, these freaking things are heavy. So I paid a dollar for them. And if I design them, I will have to put in charge for time and paint. I guess include the paint brushes for supplies. And then the type of design. I think I'll probably do like, um, <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. I probably would do something. I don't know if I would do like a emerald or like a gold or some pretty nice, pretty exotic color. <coughs> yeah. One, two, three, four, five, five. And as a matter of fact, I think I would like, y'all ain't come in for all this. Keep this little cardboard part. Come on. With the ribbon. And sell it like that. Oh, they fit exactly on the bottom. And just wrap them up and sell them just like that. You won't start selling stuff. It'll be worth it. Um, I guess you're going to have to put like a pox on the top. So that must be a... No, that's not a pox. I don't know what that is. But I have to put pox on the top. I can get some clear ones. Clear epoxy. So yeah. We'll see. After all that, I'll probably try to sell it for like $10. We'll see. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm done. Um, I got everything that I need to do what I need to do in the house. So I don't need to come out no more today. I'm going to Dollar General tomorrow. I have a call at 3.30 today. All right, good. I'm going to Dollar General tomorrow because they have their, um, well, the sale has been going on. I don't know. I think you only do it Saturday. Five or five, five on Saturday. So, yeah. They got some tissue that I want to get and lights all. So I got my coupons ready. I'm going to two stores. I'm trying to beat the stores when they press open. Um, that's if they don't, they decide not to put all the stuff on the shelf. Long story. Anyway, um, but yeah, that's all I got going on. So that, you know, I'm doing that Saturday. And I have nothing else going on. And with that being said, I need to wash my hair and complete my room. Oh yeah, let me show you something. Let me show you, let me show you, let me show you, because I'm about to call Forever 21. Matter of fact, where is their number? I'm going to call them, and then when I come back with y'all, I'll show y'all what I'm talking about and tell you what why I'm calling. It. I don't like this phone. That's not the number that I wanted. When I do a new call, new number, never mind. Anyway, I'm going to tell you why I call them and show you why I'm calling them and tell you what they said. So I'll be... So, Forever 21 on this receipt number is not right. How you got a receipt with the wrong number on it? Okay. So, when I took them shoes out, them boots out, look. These are dust bags. So, I called the lady and she said that when they take theirs out off the shoes, they put them in the trash. So, I have two options. I don't know how I would do it. I guess if I'm in that area and I'm barely over there, I can just say, hey, can I stop by 
before management leave and get it. Or go dumpster diving. One and two. And I, and I ran looking for material. Now, I'm glad I saw this because this gave me an idea on how I'm going to do mine. Just make them into bags. Cut them into four and then just... Though they had a heat, whatever. And just do a straight line and just... That's it. I like these better, but since I already got my material, bump your mess. So, yeah. So... That starts that. So, I'm going to end this video. I am done. I've been on here long enough with y'all. Um, I don't know when I'll be back on. Because there ain't nothing only popping right now. And that's about it. If I got anything else, it'll be on. I'm trying to make these videos not be so long. But this one is long. I'm already at about to be at 23 minutes. Alright. Um, I don't know why I'm looking around. I need to drink some water and go lay down. Alright, guys. Chit-chat with you later. It's 146. Alright, bye.